Today's video is brought to you by ExpressVPN and Bespoke Post. All right, centerize your mug. I like my mug right where it is. You can be out to the side if you want. It should just be symmetrical. I think you're right, it was better before. There. Okay, cool. Cool. Hey, brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of J versus Ben, where today we have an all quiz master submitted quiz about Pixar's soul. I feel like we're gonna do good on this one. We've been talking about nothing else lately. I feel like because it's all quiz masters, we're not gonna do good. Let's see. In case you're new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Our younger brother Tyler is on the other end of the camera and he's going to be reading us the 20 questions today that are all submitted by our patron Quizmaster. And Ben and I will have to answer all of those questions by memory only. But if we both agree we have no idea, then we can get the multiple choice. We also encourage you to play along with us. We have put a link to this quiz in the description down below. You did such a good job delivering that just now. Oh, I'm so impressed. I thought you were gonna trip up at any second. <laughs> this quiz was written entirely by Super Carlin Brothers Quiz Masters. To get your questions in our quizzes or to vote on questions, go to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and select the quiz master tier. Question one. What is the name of the song on the chalkboard in the opening scene? Goodness me. I do have uh, multiple choice on every question. I know I've, that they're they're coming into it doing like the Disney music, but yeah, it's, it's certainly not that. that. <laughs> the the oh. Disney song. Oh man, I've like read it. I read it too, When You Wish Upon a Star is what I think that's that. that would, yeah, that's what they're playing. That's the Disney music. Yeah. We should know that. Okay. I would I would take multiple I choice too, on this. I feel like I'll know when I hear it. Okay. Let's go. Is it A, things ain't the way they used to be? B, New York, New York. C, take the A train. Or D, it don't mean a thing. Good made up answers. Didn't seem like it helped you. you no, seem... not as much as I expected. Yeah. I feel like I feel like there are things I think that it's not, but okay, just for for haste, I'm gonna give go it, with. Give it the good old fashioned Ben Carlin coin flip. There we go, yeah. there we go. Three, two, one. So a, things I, ain't the way they used to be. I also said A, but I was torn between A and D. The answer is A. Yeah! Things ain't the way they Kaboom. used to be. Boom. Yeah, I knew it wasn't. I, I did not think B it was or C. B or C. Yeah. That's the only song on this list I don't even know. Question two. What instrument did the sleeping girl at practice forget to bring with her? Okay, I think I got this one. I think I got this. Three, two, one. Saxophone. Saxophone. She forgot the saxophone, okay. Saxophone is correct. It seems to me he would have noticed that way before It does. Point. It does seem like that. Did you know that in middle school band, I <clears throat> desperately wanted to play the saxophone, but the prerequisite for playing alto sax was you had to play clarinet for the first semester. That was too high a toll for you. <laughs> and for and it was like, I was like, really? I don't think I can play the clarinet. Actually, I literally, they like let you like attempt to play music on like the first day. I couldn't even make sound come out of it. Wow. Because of like the wooden reed thing. It yeah. makes my like lips chapped just thinking about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It tastes bad. It tastes bad. Why don't they have flavored? They do. They, but no, those they, taste bad. Oh, well, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Question three. What does Jerry say to calm the unborn souls? You have to get this one. Have you to. have to get this one. It's basically my middle basically, name. This is, yeah. Three, two, one. Quiet Coyote. Quiet Coyote. <laughs> is this it? Is this Quiet Coyote? Yeah. I love that they did that. Yeah. <laughs> it's surprising that they respond to it. Like these are unborn they souls and they know what coyotes are. I mean, if you're going to teach anyone about any animal before they're even born, obviously. It should coyote. be coyotes, goes yeah. without saying. Without saying. You know, I wish that we had 22 questions on this quiz, literally just so that at some point we could do question 22. Oh, that'd been good. I know. Could you just read one of them? Like the last question, ask question 22, even though it's question 20? Yeah, sure. Oh, Great. Personal request. Tyler, you should have a suggestion box. Jay and I can put suggestions in anonymously. Oh, like my own, like like I bring one and like set it next to the Yeah, the yeah, podium. and then we can anonymously <laughs> right. leave notes and tips. I, the only thing I do on this show is know your handwriting though. So it's like, mm -hmm. Mm. Question four. According to Terry, how many souls go into the great beyond every minute? Oh my goodness. Every minute? Every minute. Um, like, we even talked about this in last week's video. Yeah. Like how he specifically like lists the numbers that he's like, expecting to come through. 
that they're expecting to come through. Do you have it? Maybe. I have absolutely no idea. I put 963. Every minute? Oh, I put way yeah. higher than that. I put 5,180. Uh, the answer is 105.2. I have at least a one, a zero, and a five. I thought- And I've... if you do 10 minus eight, you get a two. Hmm. So basically through clever rearranging of numbers, I had it. All I could remember was him say, I, what, and this could even be wrong, is I thought Terry says 1.56 souls per second. So I was just like, I'm 60? That's how I got there. Ah. Mm. Obviously I forgot to move a decimal place somewhere in there. Yeah, you were way lower. Yeah, I was way lower. Actually, it would have been right about 105.2. I must be close then. <laughs> <laughs> Question five. What was the occupation of the soul mentor whose identity Joe stole? This is one of those where I feel like the term... Can you start between two words here? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I'm going with the, this one, though. That the people can see. Okay, yeah. I changed it too. Okay. <sighs> I said psychiatrist. Child psychiatrist. I'm not gonna be able to give it to you. It is a child psychologist. Ah, oh, this is my like, head! No, I was, oh, I was like, psychologist or psychiatrist? Uh, it feels like psychiatrist would be more likely to be involved <laughs> with like Nobel Prize winning research. Right. Because a psychiatrist is like a like a more, like that's like the medical version, right? Like it's the, like a brain scientist, yeah. And that's gonna be totally wrong, but in my my reasoning was yes, the psychiatrist was like basically the same except more education and can prescribe medicine. Right, that's why I guess the same <laughs> thing I guessed. It was like, yeah. okay, okay. I think at the doctorate level, a psychologist is more trained for actual therapy sessions mm. where a psychiatrist is more trained on like, not one-on-one, -on -one, but like- Like diagnosing or something. I, I guess that would be I the answer. I feel like diagnostics could be right. Yeah. Although I think you see a psychiatrist like ongoing, whereas like, oh, this may be the difference between like a counselor. Sure. Counselor's like short term <sighs> But she even said, cause she, 20, sorry, 22 says, she thinks Joe is using reverse psychology on her. And I was like, well, maybe, but yeah. Ugh. Question six, the first mentor gets assigned to what number soulmate? I mean, how close to- Yeah, I, I need an exact number. I Then I want multiple, I don't know. I really don't want to have to read all of these, but I will. Mm -hmm. I'm very good at reading numbers. Do you know it? No. You don't want the multiple choice? I think it's kind of hilarious to see how close we can get. <laughs> there's no there's no getting that close. I, I feel like I feel like there should be a point to the closer number. Let's see how close you are. <clears throat> we'll we'll see. We'll see, won't we? We'll see we'll see. <laughs> Alright, I have a number. possibly like working out over I, there. Uh, I'm trying to like, just remember like the cadence in which he delivers the number. This is where his memory is infuriating. Like the fact, there's no data in there stored for me. It's just pure cobwebs. Okay, well, this is this is my, I said 108,406,332. Yeah, I missed a major multiplier there. I think you're right. I think that there have been approximately 108 billion people to have yeah. ever lived. Well, I think it was, I knew the front, three were 108 billion. I think he delivers it pretty quickly. So it was like, it seemed like there was only like the rhythm of three of those things. So it was like 108 billion, 406,332. But I don't know. So obviously Jay's closer by like 100 billion. Uh, yes, he is. So this is a, a time where the breaking the comedy rules of threes and, and speaking in excess is the joke. And it's 108 billion, 210 million, 121,415. Ah, so I couldn't even remember the rhythm correctly. Do I get the point for being closer? That's up to Benjamin. I, I think that's fine, because I was the one lobbying for it. Point! Um, that was like a good old fashioned Ben Carlin brain fart though, because there's more than, I literally wrote a number that is fewer than the current number of people living on the planet. Oh. Kind of like 22. 22! <laughs> 22! <laughs> Question seven. When was the picture of Joe with his rap group taken? I'm looking for an exact date. Oh, a date? A, a date? What were you giving me, a season? I can give you a year. Really? That's impressive. Uh, the actual, oh man. Uh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, you got it. You got a good one? 
Okay, that's my guess. I don't think it's right. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. So it's February 3rd, 1989. I said June 6th, 1995. 1989, correct? Uh, the correct answer is September 20th, 1989. Oh, September 20th. I'm trying to think of what Pixar event was probably that day. Well, February, February 3rd, 1988 was when they were founded. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Which is okay. easy to remember because it is one day before I was born. Nice. Yeah, so I knew that one and I knew it was 89 because I remember looking at the date and being like, oh man, that was a long time ago. How old is Joe? Pixar related things were having a really big week. Yeah, I guess that so. Week. So it's like their their future. Yeah, I just sort of chose a random, possibly important Pixar date. But. Well, so I was trying to figure, I guess I don't know exactly how old Joe is. Let's say he's 40. Yeah, I think uh, so. Then there. I was thinking, so 2020 minus 40 would land you at 1980. If he's like about a high school age student, 15, mm -hmm. 1980 plus 15 would be 1995. And then I was like, oh, I bet it's the same as Toy Story, which would have been a summer release, 1995. That makes sense. So I see what you got there. That was my logic of like how I backpedaled. Now I'd be very curious, Scott, if you can possibly put on screen what the actual release day of Toy Story in theaters was. Because I'd be curious if- If you it, got it right. If, it, if that had been the connective tissue, would it have been correct? Right. But so that also means he must be older than 40 because there's no way he's only nine years old. No, he's like in high school or something. Right. Yeah. Maybe he's like more like 45. Yeah. He's looking good. Looking real good. Okay. Holding up well. Yeah. Question eight. What NBA team does 22 love to mess with? Ready? This was Hilarious. Three, two, one. The Knicks. The Knicks. The Knicks. <laughs> what a what a random out of nowhere jab at Knicks fans watching the <laughs> or like Knicks hey. players. <laughs> it's like, I know, right, <laughs> man? Come on. Still hilarious though. I know. Although I bet I bet calling it right now, the Knicks win next season's title. My my assumption was that Kemp Powers was a Knicks fan and that's why he did that. Call, that's why I was in there. I'm calling my shot, man. Yeah. I don't think they will, Ben. That's fine. Basketball is pretty easy to predict. <laughs> where is <laughs> where LeBron, LeBron James? James. <laughs> Question nine. What caused Moonwind to previously be a lost soul in the zone? I keep saying this. <laughs> I know. This is, this is a funny one. Three, two, one. Dead Tetris. <laughs> Tetris indeed. I so thought they were gonna have him need to like arrange blocks at some point later in the movie. Like Joe was gonna need to get past something. He's like, my moment. Right, 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 yeah. Oh well. Cleared a line. Yeah, that would've been great. Wait, what are you writing? He hasn't asked the question yet. Well, you know. Oh, I see what's happening. Mm hmm He's going on the scenic route. I can get up. And he's leaving a note. Great. All right, well, while Ben's doing off whatever the heck he does on these things, uh, I guess let's talk about today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. All this other stuff. All right, here's a question for you. How did you choose your current internet service provider? Trick question, you probably didn't because most places only have one. ISPs typically have a monopoly over whatever area they're served, which means you are forced to kind of agree to a bunch of things you probably wouldn't otherwise, like having data caps or streaming throttles or having your activity sold to advertisers. So to prevent them from seeing all of my activity, I protect all of my devices with ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a simple app for your computer or smartphone that encrypts all of your user data and sends it first through a secure server. Then what happens is when it's in the server, your internet service provider can't see any of it. Which is great when you consider how much of our lives are on the internet. I mean, it's my whole job. And I don't want you seeing my videos, internet service provider. Wait, and it is super simple to use. You just download the app, press the big old button, and that's pretty much it, you're protected. And great news, it doesn't slow anything else down. So stop handing over all of your information and use the VPN I trust to secure all of your devices, ExpressVPN. And if you wanna get an extra three months free, you can head over to expressvpn.com slash jverseb. Again, that is an extra three months free at expressvpn.com slash jverseb. Three months free, expressvpn.com slash Javers B. Link is in the description down below. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the scenic route. Is Jay Don boring you guys yet with internet safety yet? I mean, 
Actually, it is pretty important. You should probably check it out. But today, I'm going to be telling you about today's other sponsor, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a great service that curates monthly boxes of awesome zizz. This month, I am so stoked, though. I've never gotten one of these before, but this box is going to be called Cured. It's one of their food boxes that is filled with... Salami. Listen, I am a huge fan of a good meat and cheese board, and for good reason. It's freaking delicious. But I always get the same old boring, like, salami stick from the grocery store, and this month I get to try something extra special. But don't worry, if you don't like salami for some reason, we can still be friends. And better yet, Bespoke Post has lots of other great options. From grooming goods to barware, cooking tools, and outdoor gear, Bespoke Post has collections for every part of your life. Speaking of things that are awesome, check this out. Not related, I just wanted to show you. But if you want to get started on this grand new adventure of life, be sure to check out their questionnaire over at boxofawesome.com. It kind of helps them curate the right things for you. Wow, this light makes me look green. Guys, they release new boxes every single month from all of those categories I talked about before. Personally, next month, I am eyeing the split box because it comes with this really handsome looking hatchet. And you might not know this about me, but I love splitting wood. And finally, you can get 20% off your first order when you go to boxofawesome.com and use code SUPER at checkout. Again, that is boxofawesome.com, code SUPER at checkout for 20% off your first box. Link is in the description down below. Be sure to check it out. Question. 10. What is the shape of the anchor on Moonwind's ship in the zone? Okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. The peace sign. Peace sign. Peace sign indeed. I almost forgot to draw the line right here. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> the Mercedes emblem. <laughs> I was like, this is familiar. Give him a December to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Question 11. Which of these is not a name of the Mystics Without Borders? A. Windstar Dreamer Moon. B. Singwind Dreamstar. C. Dreamer Wind. D. Dreamer Dreamer. And E. Dance Star Wind Moon. I don't know if I watched this movie. All of those words were nonsense to me. Then I'm going for it. Okay. Three, two, one. I said B. I said D. Dreamer Dreamer. The answer is B, Singwin Dreamstar. Singwin Dreamstar, I knew I didn't recognize that. Well, cause I think Sing stood out so much to the rest of them. Cause it was like, everything was either moon, wind, dreamer or star or some combination of those things. Yeah, I don't think I even picked up on that. Yeah, they're like, this is moon, wind, dreamer, star, dreamer, dreamer, wind, moon, moon, wind, dreamer, star, and I'm, you know, it was like, <laughs> they're all the same. <laughs> Here's everyone's names. You'll obviously never be able to remember them. <laughs> Except you just did. I just remember that Sing wasn't one of the pattern. Question 12. What song was playing when the astral ship first appeared? I don't know. Yeah, I'll I don't know. Yeah, I'll go multiple choice. MC. Uh, these are all Bob Dylan songs. Is it Blowin' in the Wind? The Times They Are a Changin'? Subterranean Homesick Blues? Or Like a Rolling Stone? Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said B. I said A. Uh, so I was between those two. Uh, the correct answer is Subterranean Homesick Blues. Wow. Bob Dylan. Nope. No. Okay. My, my, I had it between A and C. So. My, okay. Well, at least you had it between there. My guess was that the other one was Times Ain't Like They Used To Be. So I was like, maybe this is like a slick. The song on the board was like, this is things aren't how they used to be. And then this song is things are changing. Uh, <laughs> but change. obviously that wasn't what they were going for. That's so never mind. Work. You guys listen to a lot of Bob Dylan? No. No. Mm -mm. No. Not especially. Okay. It's one of those things where I feel like you're supposed to know, but yeah. I don't know like at what point in my life I'm supposed to go through that phase. Yeah, of, you're like, supposed to know like everything by like Bob Dylan and Bruce Springsteen and Billy Joel and- The Beatles. The Beatles, yeah. I don't. I don't, I don't either. I don't. If you, in I, fact, I frequently feel like I'm frustrated that I didn't just get to like live through those things so I could just get those references. I only learned this year, and you can listen to this on Popcorn Culture, that uh, Mick Jagger's first name was Mick. Not like, Mick Jagger? Yeah, I just thought it was a stage name, Mick Jagger. Brought, to, the, I, yeah. brought to you, you by the fast food establishment, Mickey D's. Mick Jagger is back. <laughs> the Mick Jagger is the back. The Mick Jagger is back. Question 13. 
What is the name of the therapy cat from the hospital? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Mr. Mittens. Mr. Mittens. Mr. Mittens, indeed. This was actually, uh, I, I don't know, I think rather unique, and I don't, I, 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 it's possible I'm wrong, but I think that typically calico cats are female. Oh, interesting. And not, not like all the time, always, I think, but it's like a pretty rare instance that you would have like a male calico cat. Well, I don't know anything about what would account for that. Yeah, me either, but that was, Fun trivia that maybe don't quote me on. Okay. Question 14. What is the first food 22 eats? Uh, this feels like, I don't know, three, two, one. Pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza is correct. This was such a low hanging vegetable for me where they could have made a joke about broccoli pizza, but they didn't. There is a broccoli pizza in the- Hall of everything. In the Hall of everything. Oh, is there? Yes. It is. Yeah, it's, it's actually like right behind Joe's shoulder while he's eating pizza in the Hall of everything. Yeah. I loved the sound effects attached to just like the pizza like shooting out of their butts. <laughs> just like, it's like so subtle. Just sort of like, eh, it happened. Yep. Whatever. Shoot. Question 15. What is Joe's apartment number? Three, two, one. 207. I said 23. It is 2A. Oh, oh man, <laughs> you were so close. Super close. It's the 23rd Pixar movie. I was thinking chances are there's a reference to that. Is it the 23rd one? It is the 23rd now. Question 16. What did Dez originally want to be? Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. A veterinarian. Veterinarian. A veterinarian. Was the A essential? I was like, am I spelling this right? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, leave off a veterinarian. <laughs> it's like the when Ted is writing his name yeah. on the board, he's like P-R-O-F. <laughs> Yeah. How many how many Fs are a professor? One? One. <laughs> so like the kid in the front row is like, <laughs> I love that they went to the kid in the front row with that. It's like, <laughs> I got you, teach. According to the government, when will Orcus move into the house of Gemini? <laughs> this is such a funny thing. I thought, I got it. Man, I don't have this at all. This is so funny. Are you a Gemini, Jay? An Aquarius. Aquarius. Yeah, I'm a Scorpio. I think we've done this bit before. <laughs> What are you? I'm a Sagittarius. Ah. The Archer. The Water Bearer. That's you. Yeah. Mine just sounds cool. Yeah. You got something? 6.30. I said next week, <laughs> question mark. 6.30 is correct. <laughs> yeah, this is when he's trying to determine when there will be a thin spot in the zone when he's talking to Moonwind on the corner. When's that? And he's like, well, the government calls it 6.30. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't even operate on it. The 24 hour system, I'm so out there. Question 18. Oh, of course. What is the name of the Moonwind's manager? Oh man, I have no clue. Man, these got real hard, real I fast. No. People that also lots of Moonwind questions. He stands out. Is he the third main character? I would say it's probably the Jerry's or Terry. Terry's probably my favorite character. <laughs> Terry's so great. Okay, me too. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said Teresa. I said Diane. Oh. We have this ongoing joke at work that all office managers are named Barbara, but that is not the case here. It was Marge. Ah, oh, Marge. Maggie, Peggy, come on. Although Margaret was a different answer. That wouldn't have counted. Oh, got it. But. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Question 19. What kind of pie was Joe eating at the diner in his flashback? <sighs> Got you. This is this is the answer I didn't choose. This is the answer that I did choose. Ready? Three, two, one. Pecan. Oh, I said cherry backed up by apple. Well, I really hope it's pecan. It is pecan. Yeah. Man, that's like my favorite type of pie. Pecan I know. Pie. We used to have a pecan tree in our backyard. Oh, we did. We would go out there with a bucket, fill it up. Yep. Go in. Mm -hmm. We would sit on the table and crack. Pecans, mama made, make homemade pecan pie. Fresh out of the backyard. Question 22. Hey, you did it. Aha. What song is being sung by the guitarist in the subway? All these song questions. Don't they know that we don't know? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I would go I'm multiple choice. Okay, multiple choice it is. Is it A, Leaving Soon by Ira Wolf? B, Forever Alone by Smash Into Pieces? C, Parting Ways by Cody Chestnut? Or is it, um... Cody Pecan. Ha, ha no. Ha. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> all right, whatever. Or D, Until Next Time by Daniel Pecan. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Daniel Munoz. <clears throat> I don't know what 
that one. Okay. And Ready? Three, yeah. two, one. A, C, let's. Ooh, the correct answer is C. Parting Ways by yes. Cody Chestnut. Ways. They were like all similarly, they were good wrong answers. They, they were felt appropriate. They felt like really good for uh, like subway <clears throat> related things. Like yeah. where it's like a place you go to leave. Yes, exactly. But also about 22 and Joe. Going there. Parting Ways. Separate ways. Going there, yes. It's you can imagine song. an arrow different ways. Different ways. Here they were on the same Oh, I follow. And then, and then if you draw a circle, you get them <laughs> upside down. You get them upside down. Mercedes symbol. Mercedes. <laughs> but in the middle, peace. Nice, nice, nice. It all comes together. So I lost. But only by like two. By hey. my count. Maybe more though. I'm really bad at keeping hey. count. I'd make a terrible Terry. It's so interesting to me that there are so many Jerry's <laughs> and yet a lone Terry. <laughs> right. Right. When like the, the Terry job seems like it would be very involved. Right. You need a lot of people counting the people. Yes. Maybe if you had too many, they'd get like wires crossed or something. Yeah. Did you know that the woman who plays Terry is in Thor Ragnarok when Jeff Goldblum is like, what was I just saying about Scrapper? <laughs> it's <laughs> It started with a B. I'm doing a really bad job of explaining <laughs> who this person is, but we can show them on screen. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. What do I always say? She is the, and it starts with a B. Trash. No. Okay. But it's that person. That's who plays Terry. Great. Yeah. Good fun fact. Yeah. Yeah. I, thought, I was like mind blown by this information. I was like, no way. What? Could it be? Did you know one of my the favorite of characters from Thor Ragnarok? Was like the lead star in 30 Rock? Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Guys, how'd you do on today's quiz? Did you beat us? I bet if you knew the songs, you probably did. The, some of those were pretty tough, though. Yeah. I feel like if not for the fact that we were like, having just watched this movie and covering it like for the a past lot. like four videos, mm -hmm. then I don't think that I would have done even as well as I did, which is to say mediocre at best. Right, So I would say that's how you did. Classic, wow, wow. Well, you did that plus two, so. That's what it takes to win. <laughs> <laughs> Special thanks to these amazing quiz masters who support Super Carlin Brothers on Patreon, especially those who submitted questions for this quiz. Agent Krakow, Danny from Editing Is Everything, DJ Kempen, Dola, Elizabeth, Erica Franco, Josie Burkhart, Matthias Duville, Max D, Michaela Henry, Michael Lansky, Nadia, Nolan Faber, Orion Ricochet, Ray Lafleur, Rennet Witt, Sabrina Tausch, Sammy Ray, Sarah Perel. Sid and Wesley Walker. Guys, thanks so much as always for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a like on it if you haven't already. If you want to find out who 22 became after they fell to earth, you can check out this video right here. And if you'd like to hear more of Tyler's voice, you can check out his podcast, Bacon and Eggs, right here. But otherwise, until next time, bye!